I'm Haley Gray, and I am the founder of the Women's Entrepreneur Network. And I'm a mom of four. I have two and a half dogs. Um, my daughter has a dog, and the dog goes back and forth between here in Cincinnati. And I have three cats and a turtle and all the things. And, um, you know, one of the things that I have learned over the years, being a mom, working full time outside the home and then working from the home and having one of my children um, has a significant disability and um, a traumatic brain injury from a fall from a horse seven years ago is that I have to be super smart with my resources. And when I say with my resources, I mean time, I mean treasure, and I mean talent. And, you know, there are definitely things I could be doing in my business that I choose not to do. And there are things I could be paying for in my business that I choose not to pay for. And there are, you know, things I know how to do that are not necessarily the best use of my time. You know, witness Dion um, with her conversation. So I want to start to talk about visibility and getting more visible in your business. And we're going to be doing a challenge in Women's Entrepreneur Network in June. And we are definitely going to be doing a number of different things relating to visibility. Because one of the things that I have seen in the online space recommended to people is um, go out and go and build your own Facebook group, go friend people, go connect to people, send them an immediate invite to your Facebook group, build the Facebook group. And lo and behold, what I see with a lot of people is that it's a lot of work. It's a lot of nuisance. You have to stay on top of creating content all the time. And it's hella frustrating. What if I were to tell you that there are better uses of your time talent, treasure, and resources, and that there are better ways to get visibility in many cases than building your own real estate. Um, you know, it is possible to build your own social media platform and take everybody off platform and do all this kind of stuff. But is that really a good use of your time? And I would argue that in many cases, it's probably not. Um, Building your platform, building your network, um, building your reputation is a thing. Absolutely. Platform plus network plus reputation is income. But that doesn't mean necessarily building your own Facebook group. Um, it may mean building your own following and building your own communities on a couple of different platforms. And there's a reason why I say a couple of different platforms. So we can go down that rabbit hole. But from a visibility perspective, I'm a big believer in using other people's groups, other people's resources, partnering with people. So what do I mean by that? There are a number of different groups, including Women's Entrepreneur Networks, um, where you can go into the group, you can engage, you can post non-promotional content anytime you want to post it. And you can engage with other people and build a lot of visibility um, with people and start to connect to people and start to build your network doing that. Guess what? If you're in somebody else's Facebook group, you're not the one who's having to deal with all of the admin headaches on the backside, all of the constant posting, all of the constant snarky comments, all the constant spam, all the things that end up happening on the back end of a Facebook group. You get to enjoy the benefits of just participating in a group. Now, you're probably going to want to participate in a handful of groups, like three to five, three to five, um, and be an active member in several different groups, whether it's on LinkedIn or Facebook, and be building out your platform and your followers on those platforms. So on Facebook, you start building your either your personal creator profile, or you start building a business page and you start doing lives, you start doing videos. 
maybe you approach Women's Entrepreneur Network, Social Salad Society, Women Helping Women, and you pay the short, the small membership fee to be able to go live in the group and share and promote and do your things. Here's a cool thing. You're supporting the creator of the group and helping pay for their time to run the group and do the things rather than you having to do all the things all the time for yourself. You show up, you comment on other people's posts, you engage with their posts. Guess what? When you engage with other people's posts, you're going to get more visibility. Somebody's going to see you. Somebody's going to be much more likely to connect with you if you are liking, commenting, and generally being a good steward and a good citizen um, on their posts. It's kind of amazing how that happens if you start engaging with them. Notice I'm not telling you for a visibility perspective or a client gaining perspective to go sliding into their DMs when they're cold. That's not at all what I'm telling you to do. I'm telling you to build a reputation, build a network, build connections, start conversations with people in a natural manner. Please, for the love of bacon, don't just go messaging people cold in the group and saying, hey, do you want to buy my stuff? Because that's probably going to get you banned from most groups. And it's going to get a lot of people who are banning your profile. And on Facebook, if you have a lot of people that are blocking you, it's going to affect your account quality and it's going to have you shut down. So that's not a good way to get visibility. Good way to get visibility, share high quality content, share funny content, be real, show up, start comments, start engagement, right? Show me the last picture you took on your phone. Um, Show me what you're working on. Tell me about what you're working on. Tell me whatever, whatever. All of these things are important to actually getting visibility. And guess what? You can post in most groups pretty freely. And the group admins and the group moderators are going to love you dearly for just showing up and posting and being a regular contributor to their group. And then the cool thing is that you probably can get special benefits for being a real person and engaging in the groups and doing all the things and hanging out and being a real person. So, you know, I'm going to also address the elephant in the room. So what if nobody's seeing my posts? Y'all, you can't just post and leave the group. If you're just dropping by a group and dropping off your post, like post, and you're just kind of like dropping it like little bird droppings everywhere. It's kind of how Facebook ends up seeing your posts because you're not engaging with people. You're just dropping off posts kind of like they're little bird droppings all over the place. So what do you do instead? You stay and you comment on other people's posts. You post things that you find or think might be interesting to other people. You engage with people as a real person to build your reputation, right? So it's not just about I'm showing up and I'm dropping off my my little posty thing. And that's why I'm saying three to five groups. You do this consistently for 60 to 90 days. And guess what? People are going to really start recognizing you. They're going to start to kind of know who you are. They're going to start sending you friend requests. You can be sending people that you're engaging with regularly friend requests. And you can be connecting with people. And guess what? Building your note building your platform, building your reputation. Say you want to take it to the next level. Well, do lives, right? Well, you have to be consistent with whatever you're doing. I have seen so many people get really, really frustrated online on Facebook, on LinkedIn, wherever they go into a Facebook group or they're posting on their own stuff. And Hey, I'm not getting any leads. I'm not getting anything. Well, are you, the first question I always have is, are you posting regularly? Are you putting anything out there for people to engage with you as a real person on a regular basis? And I'm not talking about, you know, perfectly curated all the time. I mean, I think that most of us can agree my back end of my life at times is an absolute hot mess. I have one kid in the hospital at the moment who's been in the hospital a month. And then I have another kid who had surgery a week ago and just walked for her college graduation. And we spent all night last night in the emergency room um, for some minor complications. So life is messy. I share that life is messy. I share what it's like to have a kid 
with psychiatric issues. I share what it's like to have another kid who has Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. I share what my life is really like, you know, the fun of, you know, going through life as a dog mom and, you know, sharing pup cups with my dogs. I share what it's like to be a real human being. I share my thoughts and where I'm at. Um, and, you know, sometimes I compress it down into itty bitty little bite sized chunks. If it's a longer post, I might put it in a couple of different places like on LinkedIn or Medium. But I'm always building my platform. I'm consistently building my visibility. And here's the thing that ends up happening. As you're doing videos, as you're doing lives, as you're posting online, as people get to know you, it does take some time. But if, if you're having conversations and you're finding your audience and you're finding your people, you're going to start getting more visibility and more clients. This does not happen overnight, but it happens pretty quickly if you're consistent. And if you tell people what you do and how you do it, if you don't tell people what you do, if you're not telling people how you do it, if you're not sharing your thoughts or your expertise in any way, and I'm not talking about just randomly posting in groups, hey, come join my class tomorrow. If you want to do the, hey, come join my class, maybe you should approach the group admins and pay to post your events or ask if you can post your events. Um, do those things, right? Show up, be a real person, engage, do it over time. Do it in a handful of groups, three to five groups. And that is how people started telling me they were seeing me showing up everywhere. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't know if I can post regularly. Well, you know what? You need to set aside time a few days a week to engage on your calendar like you would an appointment. Set it up as an appointment. Um, set it up as a coffee date. For me, I have a mango dragon fruit refresher. And I sit down and I set a timer for 15 to 20 minutes and I engage in different groups at different times during the week intentionally with purpose of being a resource. Now, I'm going to be real honest. I don't always promote myself. A lot of times my engagement with people, I'm going through my local women's networking groups and I'm sharing other business owners. I'm sharing family law attorneys, I'm sharing landscapers, I'm sharing contractors, I'm sharing all of these different people to help and be a resource in the community. Because guess what, what you put out there tends to come back to you because people start to also see that you are recommending other people. Um, as in Bob's Bob Berg's book, Givers Gain. If you give, you tend to get. And it's part of my philosophy in Women's Entrepreneur Network. I invite people to get onto a call with me and, you know, I get to know them and I start to learn, hey, who can I actually refer to? Who can I not refer to? Who would benefit from going live in the group? Who would not benefit from going live in the group? You know, that kind of a thing. And I may offer them different things based on where they are. And visibility is a process of getting out there, being seen, posting, posting videos where it's approved, or if you have to pay to post videos, then do it. Um, you know, get out there and be active in a variety of different communities. And here's the thing, don't be sitting on your phone, scrolling, telling yourself that you're working. You know, if you want to actually be productive, talk to Melissa or talk to Pamela Schirkenmeister who runs the zone and focus on your productivity and do things in time blocks. Do it intentionally. Do it with intention. Don't be trying to watch a movie while you're engaging on Facebook. I will tell you that right now, since I can only schedule posts on certain platforms using my phone, what I do is I go walking with my husband in the evening and he goes and he does a double or a triple walk with our younger dog. So I take our older dog around the block until she's hot and, you know, she's done and she's baked and she's panting and tail dragging on the pavement. I take her back to the car and my husband continues working. And then I sit in the car in a closed environment and I schedule posts on social media. 
And I do it intentionally that way because I can record things while I'm out walking. I can um, post things that I have saved to my phone. I can schedule lots of posts and I get stuff done, um, you know, three or four or five days at a time. And I can go through and I can engage and I can go through and I can do my little checklist while I'm sitting in the car for 30 to 45 minutes. And I make absolute use of that time. So it's not so much about putting a million hours in to whatever the heck I'm doing. It's a lot about doing the right things. It's about being consistent and it's about showing up. So if you guys want to know more about showing up in supporting Women's Entrepreneur Network and supporting what we're doing, if you want to know about how you can promote in the group, because a lot of people want to promote, um, or if you want to do lives in the group, you know, go on and check out patreon.com forward slash Women's Entrepreneur Network. This is um, how we handle it. If you are at one of the higher tiers of membership, you actually get all kinds of cool swag and bonuses that are Women's Entrepreneur Network branded, which is kind of cool. And you can go live in the group. And guess what? You get help from me. You get help from my team learning how to increase your visibility because visibility leads to clients. Visibility and reputation and platform lead to more clients. And if you are starting even from a place where you have clients rolling in, leveraging other people's groups is one of the cheapest and fastest ways to bring in leads to most businesses, especially if you're in groups that have your audience, your ideal clients in those groups. So focus on going live, go live in Women's Entrepreneur Network, support the group, support the work that we're doing, and get yourself a lot more visible. You'll notice that Tiff is going live. You'll notice that Meg is going live. You'll notice that Shay is going live. You'll notice that Elaine Williams is going live, that um, Christy Lee is also going live. We have lots of really cool speakers who are going live. And the more you engage with their posts, the more they engage with your posts, the more you put out there, the more that comes back to you. And guess what? We've already created this environment. So you might as well leverage what you've got rather than going out and spending all the time to build a free Facebook group elsewhere. Here's the thing. If I was going to build a Facebook group now, because I've been doing this for eight years, if I was building a community now, I would do it as a paid community. It would be 47 or 77 or $97 a month. I would be working the heck out of other people's groups, several of them, as my advertising, and maybe even running ads and retargeting ads, and getting people into my workshops and getting people into a paid community, not just a free Facebook group. Because here's the thing that a lot of us have discovered. There are lots and lots of people in free Facebook groups, but they're not necessarily paying. So leverage those groups, siphon through, find the people that are your people and get them into a paid community. That's a pro tip for you that I hope you will take advantage of. Um, because one of the, I know people think that, oh my gosh, it's so amazing to have 75,000 people in a Facebook group, 76,000 people in a Facebook group, y'all. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of engaging with people. It's a lot of things. And I'm not saying it's not a good thing, but what if you could leverage that time and that interest and that effort that's been put into it and use it as a springboard to get you more of what you want in your business, which is more visibility, which is more clients, which is more impact, which is more of what you're trying to do in your business. And what drives me is seeing people being able to generate more income, more impact in their businesses. I'm oddly like Dion, one of those people who's not as motivated by money as you might guess. I like money. I love money. I enjoy it. I enjoy what it brings me, but I'm not necessarily intrinsically motivated by it. So for me, giving y'all the gift of visibility and network and support, which we do through so many different avenues as part of Women's Entrepreneur Network, is part of what we're here for. So thank you for listening to me ramble today. Go out, 
go be consistent, post, comment, like, share, do the things, you'll be a lot more visible. Go live, you'll be a whole lot more visible. And guess what? You'll probably be able to grow your business pretty quickly by doing it. I want to welcome our last speaker of the day, Nicola Zocker, to the screen. Welcome. Hello. So happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and give you the stage. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I just wanted to share about my books, Marley, Marley's Dream Love series of books. Yes. And I wanted to give them some exposure. Absolutely. So tell us about what you're doing. So Marley recently did a TV show and you can find it on YouTube, All Aboard Marley Express. And we did that with a group of children from a local school. And that was a lot of fun. And we're going to retirement homes and schools and libraries and sharing Marley's message of love that she shares in her books. And it goes over very enthusiastic and loves Marley. So I just wanted to share that today. Can you tell us a little bit about who Marley is and what Marley is and yeah. maybe show us the books? And I can share, share the books with you, yes. So here's the books. There's Marley, Marley the Dreamer. There it is, Marley's Christmas Wish. And Marley's Tree Loves are some of the books. She has a total of six books, Marley and Shelley's Playdate. And the first book is Marley's Dream Love. And Marley shares empathy and understanding and compassion. I bought Marley for my dad when he was diagnosed with dementia. And he absolutely loves Marley. And Marley was very protective and understanding. And... Uh, you know, I great at uh, providing support, you know, and, and, and love. And so, and my dad always unconditional love to me. So I share that unconditional love with all of Marley's friends and, and fans of Marley. So there's some good pictures of Marley. In the book. Why don't you show us some of the book, please? Okay, sure. Here's Marley. Picture. Can you see Marley in the pictures? There she is. And you're gonna have to hold it way up to the screen so we can see it. Pictures of there's Marley and I. And there's a really good picture of Marley on the beach. I love this picture of Marley. And she was just a little baby. And my other ones, there's Marley being a little model. And pictures of Marley in this book. There she is. Glamorous picture for her Valentine's book. And pictures of her with children, and here's her Christmas book. All of these, my all the books are dedicated to my dad. There's a picture of us, and, uh, and that's when we were in Toronto. We went to Toronto for Christmas on Christmas Day. And pictures, and then there's there we are in the train and some pictures in Toronto. And I think, let me see if I have other books about Marty. I have coloring books. Where are the books 
some coloring books. I'm just looking for my first copy of oh. Don't worry, I have a copy of my first book. Hey Nicola, we are live um to the women's what? entrepreneur network um right now. So why don't we reschedule this for later, please? Okay. <laughs> I was just looking for Marley's other book and I didn't find it. Um but yes. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, if you want to share that cover, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's her coloring. Very book. cute. And where can somebody get the books? So we can get it on, on her Facebook page um, or on her website, marleysdream.com. Okay, great. Uh, and, or Marley's, yes. Awesome. Thank Marley's you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us for the May 2023 when talk and I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me today and being here and doing all the things and being a member of the women's entrepreneur network I really appreciate y'all and hope that y'all have an amazing day thank you guys take care